Welcome to the DIY Honda Garage channel. DTC U3003-16, which stands for Power Supply Voltage Too Low, has been identified in the 2011 to 2017 Honda Odyssey models. This error code indicates that the voltage supply to essential electronic components is insufficient for proper operation. Such low voltage can lead to malfunctions in various electronic systems, potentially including safety features. The Forward Collision Warning FCW, and Lane Departure Warning LDW, camera unit is one of the primary components affected by this issue. This camera unit plays a critical role in enhancing driver safety by providing alerts and warnings about potential collisions or lane departures. It is typically located near the rear view mirror on the windshield. Diagnosing this DTC involves checking the power supply voltage and ensuring all connections are intact and functioning. If the power supply to this unit fails, it may compromise its ability to provide timely warnings, leading to a diminished driving experience and potentially increased risk. It's crucial to note the interrelationship between vehicle electronics and power supply quality, as fluctuating or inadequate voltage can lead to larger systemic failures if unaddressed. Therefore, proper diagnostic steps are necessary to restore full functionality. Several potential causes can lead to the activation of DTC U3003-16. An open circuit in the wiring harness might prevent adequate power flow to the FCW LDW camera unit, which could generate this error code. High resistance in any of the connections or wiring may similarly impede the voltage supply, leading to insufficient power. The FCW LDW camera unit may be faulty itself, either due to software issues or hardware malfunctions. This failure could result in the unit not registering the correct voltage levels. Each of these causes needs careful inspection during troubleshooting to isolate the exact issue, as ignoring damaged wiring or a malfunctioning unit could lead to repeated erroneous codes. Additionally, ensuring that all connections are secure and in good condition is a fundamental step. When DTC U3003 is triggered, several symptoms may become evident. One of the most immediate indicators is the presence of warning lights on the dashboard, signaling a deeper issue with the vehicle's electronic systems. Owners may notice malfunctions in critical safety features, such as the FCW and LDW systems, which could fail to activate when needed. Additionally, the system may produce intermittent alerts, leading to confusion or delayed responsiveness. These symptoms not only affect driver confidence, but could potentially pose safety risks while operating the vehicle. Thus, timely recognition and resolution of this DTC are essential for restoring normal vehicle operations and ensuring the safety features function as intended. The first step in troubleshooting DTC U3003-16 involves engaging the engine start-stop button to select the on mode. This action allows the vehicle's electronic systems to initialize and prepares for diagnostic testing. It's essential to record all freeze frame data and any onboard snapshots as these pieces of data capture the vehicle's condition at the moment the fault occurred. This historical data becomes invaluable in isolating the problem. Additionally, reviewing the general troubleshooting information provided by Honda ensures that all standard procedures are adhered to while diagnosing the issue. This initial phase establishes a foundation for subsequent diagnostic steps, thus enabling a structured analysis of the situation. The next step in the troubleshooting process is to clear the DTC using the HDS, or Honda Diagnostic System. This specialized tool allows technicians to reset the vehicle's computer systems, effectively facilitating a fresh start to analyze the fault again. Once cleared, 
the systems can undergo testing without the interference of any previous fault codes or conditions that may no longer be present. This is especially important since intermittent errors may not appear during subsequent evaluations unless the data is cleared first. It's a vital aspect of diagnostic protocol to ensure that the technician is working with real-time data and can accurately determine whether the error recurs or has been resolved. Following the clearing of the error codes, the next step is to once again use the engine start-stop button to select the off mode. This action is crucial as it allows the vehicle systems to reset completely. After turning off the engine, waiting for a minimum of 10 seconds is recommended to ensure that all electronic systems have settled and are prepared for a diagnostic test drive. This brief waiting period helps in ensuring that any temporary faults are cleared from the vehicle's memory, providing a clearer path for evaluation. After the wait, the vehicle can be test driven at a speed of 6 miles per hour, 10 kilometers per hour or more to simulate normal operating conditions and check whether DTC U3316 is indicated again on the HDS. After completing the test drive, it's time to check for any diagnostic trouble codes, DTCs, with the HDS. This is a critical step, as it will determine whether DTC U3003-16 is still present. If it shows up again, it suggests a persistent issue that requires further investigation. Should the DTC not reappear, it would indicate an intermittent failure, allowing the technician to conclude that the system is operating normally at that moment. Evaluating the presence or absence of this code will direct subsequent steps either toward further troubleshooting or potentially concluding the diagnosis if no problems are found. It reinforces the methodical approach required in vehicle diagnostics across these electronic systems. In step six of the troubleshooting process, begin by turning the engine off again and waiting for 10 seconds. This preparatory step is essential for re-establishing a stable electronic environment within the vehicle. Once you have done this, the next action is to disconnect the 10P connector from the FCW LDW camera unit. This is crucial for isolating potential issues directly related to the camera unit itself. After disconnecting the unit, the technician should prepare to measure the voltage at the connector terminal. By taking these measurements, it allows for an assessment of whether the camera unit is receiving adequate voltage which is pivotal for its proper workflow and helps in determining if the fault lies in the wiring, connections, or the camera unit itself. The next step involves measuring the voltage at terminal number 8 of the FCW LDW camera unit's 10P connector. This measurement should be taken in relation to the body ground to ensure accuracy and reliability. The technician will verify whether there is a battery voltage present. Finding battery voltage indicates that the supply is intact, thereby pointing to other potential issues within the FCW LDW camera unit or its software. Conversely, if no voltage is present, it signals that there may be wiring faults such as an open circuit or high resistance that must be repaired. This step is instrumental in isolating the root cause of the error code, directing technicians toward the necessary corrective actions. If battery voltage is not present at terminal number 8, the immediate course of action is to repair any open circuits or high resistance issues found in the wiring between the underhood fuse relay box and the FCW LDW camera unit. This troubleshooting step necessitates a thorough examination of the wiring harness and connections, as any faults could significantly impede the required power supply to the camera unit. Should you confirm that battery voltage is present, the next action is to ensure the FCW LDW camera unit has the latest software installed. 
outdated software can lead to performance issues, including the incorrect indication of DTCs. Many manufacturers, including Honda, periodically release updates that resolve bugs or improve system functionality, which is why this check is crucial. If the camera unit does not have the most recent update, it must be completed before further testing. In cases where the unit is already running the latest software, a known good FCW LDW camera unit should be substituted to rule out malfunction. This change helps to confirm if the original unit is faulty. A straightforward exchange can often clarify where the problem lies more quickly. Once the FCW LDW camera unit has been either updated or substituted, the engine should again be turned off and left in that state for at least 10 seconds. This step allows the vehicle's electronic systems to stabilize after the changes made to the camera unit. The next action is to test drive the vehicle once more at a speed of 6 miles per hour, 10 kilometers per hour, or greater. This driving test simulates real-world operation and gives the HDS the opportunity to register any new events or faults that may have emerged. Finally, after the test drive, checking for any DTCs is critical. The presence of DTC U300316 after these actions provides definitive evidence that further investigation is necessary possibly focusing on loose terminals or connection integrity in the 10P connector. If DTC U3003-16 still appears, the focus shifts to checking for loose terminals within the FCW LDW camera unit's 10P connector. Loose or corroded terminals can disrupt the electric flow, causing power supply issues. If the unit was recently updated, it's advisable to substitute the camera unit with a known good one. This quick exchange will aid in establishing whether the original unit was defective or not. After any such substitutions or repairs, a retest is necessary. If the code reappears again consistently, this signals deeper issues, necessitating a re-evaluation of the systems involved. The key is maintaining a systematic approach to troubleshooting so that each variable is accounted for and eliminated. After completing all troubleshooting steps, it is essential to perform a final repair verification to ensure that DTC U3003-16 has been successfully cleared. This involves monitoring the vehicle for any reappearance of the code following all repairs and adjustments made. Furthermore, testing all associated safety features like the FCW and LDW is crucial to ensure they operate effectively and provide timely warnings as intended. Checking the overall functionality of the system guarantees that other related components are working properly and effectively. A comprehensive final validation not only reassures the technician, but also provides peace of mind to the vehicle owner that their investment in repairs was worthwhile. This diligent follow-through is fundamental in a successful repair process. Preventive maintenance is key to avoiding issues like DTC U3000-316 in the future. Routine checks of the wiring harness are essential especially in high movement areas where wear and tear can lead to shorts or open circuits. Regular inspections of connectors also help catch early signs of corrosion or damage, which could inhibit the effective transmission of power to crucial components. Additionally, staying updated with the latest software releases from Honda can ensure that all systems are functioning at optimal levels and are capable of addressing known issues. Owners should remain vigilant and proactive about the electronic systems in their vehicles, particularly as they age. This foresight will minimize disruptions related to electronic failures and enhance vehicle reliability over time. In conclusion, diagnosing DTC U300316 requires precision 
adherence to systematic troubleshooting steps, and careful oversight of vehicle components. This code primarily points to low power supply voltage affecting vital safety systems like the FCW and LDW camera unit. Properly addressing low voltage issues can significantly restore the functionality of critical electronic systems, leading to enhanced safety on the road. Following thorough diagnostic procedures ensures that underlying issues are effectively identified and rectified. Furthermore, maintaining diligent preventive practices can safeguard against future electrical failures, contributing to a vehicle's longevity and reliability. As owners and technicians work together, they can achieve optimal performance and safety in Honda Odyssey models. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.